Squarespace website for photographers tutorial how to create a website. Hello guys, Celia here and in this video I'm going to show you how can we easily create a website using Squarespace. They provides us the opportunity to create them from scratch or we can easily use the templates. So here we are on squarespace.com. We can find some information about their products, templates and resources of course. In order to get started we need to click on get started here or here. If you have an account we can just simply click on log in. So we can create an account with email or Gmail, Apple or Facebook. In my case I'm going to use one of my Gmail accounts. So it's pretty easy. And here we are on our homepage with dashboard and domains where we can manage our websites and domains. So in order to create a website as a photographer, so maybe we can place them our work or something like this, we just simply need to click on create a website and we'll come to our page. We can easily click on build your own template and we'll start from scratch and we can easily like create everything we need. But I think that much easier to create it from template so we can easily customize do everything we need. So I honestly suggest you to try firstly customize the template. So we can find a lot of stuff here. We can filter them into different times like online store, portfolio, membership, blog, scheduling one or one page. And we can easily switch between different topics like art, design, photography, health and beauty, personal and CV, entertainment, food, community and non-profits and so on. So we can easily try to find all the popular designs and maybe it will be even easier to change, for example, this website about like uh, different stuff into a photography template. So sometimes it's not necessary to choose like photography here, blog or portfolio, for example. We can easily start to view all the templates. I will do like this. So as for me, this template is pretty cool. So we can just simply click on preview. And here we are, we can find how does it looks like on different devices. As for me, it's pretty cool. It's like already responsive to all the types of devices. It looks pretty good. So we don't have to make it suitable, for example, from PC to a mobile phone. It's already like responsive. So let's click on start with this design and we'll try to customize it. We'll try to change something. Uh, firstly, I'm going to change the title. Let it be like my site. Let it be like this. Continue and click on next, next and get started. And here we are on our managing page where we can change all the things. Firstly, we are going to find out what does these like folders looks like and what do they perform. So pages helps us to manage all of our pages here so we can easily change the order in our menu here or do some other stuff. Basically, in this part, there is like the preview of our website. We can easily view how does it looks like. And as for me, it's pretty cool. We'll start to edit it a little bit later. But firstly, I need to customize it. So I'm going to design, opening site and styles. And here we can change the font pack. So I'm going to uh, font and then click on font pack switch. And as you can see, we can change the font uh, amount on our website. And as for me, it's pretty cool. We can customize all the uh, like uh, fonts at once. So I'm just going to find something which is suitable as for me. I think, yeah, this one is pretty cool. So when everything is done, just simply click on save in the left top corner. And yeah, in a few seconds, all the fonts will be successfully changed. We may take, it may take a little time, depends on their like server's capacity or something like this. So let's go back to site styles and I also like to change the colors. So I'm going to click on edit palette and we can easily change the wall palette of our website. Also a very cool feature if you are going to customize the template, uh, if you want to make it like, uh, like our own template. Yeah, I think this palette is pretty good as for the website. So let's click on it here and just click on save once more. I'm going to go back site and styles and I'm going to close this stuff. And we are moving to our editor page where we can manage all the elements on our website. So on Squarespace, every single section is like contains some elements. We can add different sections by simply clicking right up here. As you can see, we can add something like intro or some other stuff. So let's try something, uh, maybe people. So if we are going to maybe add our team or our models, so it may look like this. 
So I'd like to move it down. So I just simply click on it here to make it after our like intro or preview. And we can edit content, edit section, or just duplicate, make it like favorite. So if you click on edit content, we can find a lot of stuff. We can option to show images, we can turn it off. We can show title, show body, manage the content. We can add it in terms or we can delete them. So as you can see, it's pretty cool. We just simply click on add and it was successfully added as right up here. So we can just add the image, add the description, add the name. And in this case, we can easily change every single stuff. For example, let's change this, this name here. So I'm going to change it for helper man, maybe like, I don't know, works. Let it be like this. We can make it bold, make it italic, resize the text, we can make it a link. So in my case, I'm going to do like this. I like also to add the block about like button. So I'm going to move it right up here and this one move right up here. So for example, uh, we can change the text, let it be like by photo set. Something like this. We can change the design, let it be like firstly fit. Also, I'd like to make it as a secondary button. And now it looks like this. As for me, pretty, pretty cool. So here we are. This is how we can, for example, edit the buttons here. Uh, we can also like replace every single text. So we can manage these photos here. So I'm going to click on this, click on replace, and I'm going to browse some stock images. I think like it will be pretty cool Add image. And now our image will be successfully replaced and it will be edited as I need already. So uh, when everything is done, we can just simply click on save in the left top corner and the like changes will be successfully saved. We can now click on exit. And now our website looks like this and it's already available on the internet. So we can just simply click on home, uh, go to Squarespace dashboard and now it looks like this here. So we have this uh, website uh, with this link here. So we can just simply click on permission, building settings, duplicate website. We can go to settings and from here manage all of the stuff like different CEO and so on. So they also have like a free trial, like half a month uh, we can use it for free and after that there is like two plans personal and business also there's like e-commerce plans but it's not about our case so 60 dollars per month and 23 we can find all the differences right up here and as for me i think it's better to try it for free and after that you can easily decide uh, what plan is more suitable as for you as you can see business is the most popular so this is a way of how can we interact with squarespace I hope guys this video was helpful for you. If you have any questions, you can write them in the comments below. Please leave a like, comment and subscribe. I wish you a very good day. Goodbye.